What is up guys this is Karan here welcome back to Tech Karan YouTube channel Gcam Greatness Edition is here which right now I have installed it on my Redmi Note 9 Pro running Android version 11 which is perfectly fine in my case I am going to share with you a lot of things about this Gcam which are the features you get in this Gcam and is everything perfectly fine here a lot more things in this video so stay tuned for that and make sure to watch this video till the end the link for this Gcam is as always is in the description you can go ahead and check it out if you want to so let's get started quickly guys this is gcam 7.3.018 by greatness which is based on google camera 7.3 version based on gcam 7.3 by onyx 05 these are some credits which are for these of the device these are some developers of this gcam it has a lot more things a lot more features than the normal gcam which are those features everything in this video we're going to talk about first of all if we talk about the ui it's kind of the same thing like all the gcams if you swipe down we have some features like the flash we have the hdr hdr plus mode option available as always google awb is also available here motion is also available here including that the timer and the ratio these are some things which you get here if you want to talk out about the picture clarity it's fine here in my case i didn't got any issues at all till now if we talk about the things let me show you a little bit of things here and there with the camera mode we have the portrait mode available too which is also perfectly fine i didn't got any issues it's perfectly fine on android 11 which is one of the greatest things out there if i choose a night site it should also work here let me show you if we hold there hold still hold still it should work yes it's working here so with the night side with the portrait mode with the camera mode if we talk about the video mode almost everything is fine here and this is one of the great things out there because everything is fine almost portrait camera video mode and i'm using it on android version 11 so yes you can also install it if you want to also if you talk about the panorama mode that is also fine here if we talk about other features let me show you which are the other features which we get here with the photosphere slow motion time lapse let me try the slow motion i think so yes the slow motion is also perfectly fine including a little bit of brightness issues here and there might be because my device has less brightness right now maybe that's why as you can see slow motion should work definitely you can try it out if you want to other things are perfectly fine here you want to check out that how much frames per second you can record in a video we have the up to 60 frames per second we can record up to 24 30 or 60 fps right now it's by default will be at 30 frames per second but you can adjust it to 60 frames per second all depends upon you so let's move on to the settings find out some cool kind of things cool kind of features about this g cam let me show you by going into about this is a gcam a greatness cam which is called 2.1.1 edit by greatness tons of changes you can check out the whole change log here so you can see these kind of things if you want to try out if you want to read all these things you can read them if you want to we're going to talk about uh, xml files options if you go to the configs folder you can save your own xml you can download an xml i'll try to provide the xml so that you'll get a proper look kind of a gcam so you get, you'll be able to click photos in very good quality with that g with that xml file i'll try to provide you the link for that xml also if you go for the video settings we have the 4k resolution option available 4k time lapse option available including that eis mode I'm not sure about that that it's working or not but EIS mode option is available here too you can enable that if you want to optical video stabilization is available too also you can choose the bitrate up to 100 MB per second it all depends upon you including that we have the third party gallery option available by default you already know that the default gallery in all gcams is google photos you can change it to any other third party gallery also if you want to and the camera photo resolution has the option to customize as the full resolution or the medium resolution if you're gonna talk about other things we have the advanced options where we have the dirty lens warning hdr plus control as always we already know that about these features are available in all the gcams we have the lip patcher option available too. We have the HDR plus enhanced frames up to 25 frames. Camera sounds. We have the Google lens suggestion options available too. We have the cinema quality audio option which means IMAX audio quality option is enabled here. We can use that one option. Maximum digital zoom and we have the disable zoom in portrait mode. 
and a lot more things like that if you go for the auxiliary cameras we have the wide angle option available too so if you want to try out wide angle lens let me show you if it is working or not we have the wide angle lens if you're gonna choose this one and yes it's perfectly fine it should work perfectly fine here by going here you can see my ultra wide angle lens is perfectly fine and i can shoot photos in ultra wide angle also there are a lot of things available save location hdr integrated control a lot more things if you go for the iso exposure time hdr plus we have the option to choose the back camera to automatic or we can choose the iso according to our own preferences it has iso 1600 800 5 100 400 a lot more things also you can adjust the time there are a lot of settings which you can customize if you want to if you go for other settings with the service settings options available to main front telephoto wide id4 and id5 including that we have the awb back option available too where you can adjust a lot of things like s5 khmx or imx x689 nikita imx586 if you have knowledge regarding these kind of things that might be really helpful for you that is quite easy one of the things for you so you can go and install these kind of things also if you want to we have the awb back option awb front options and we have the custom libs option available too we have google flat room 10 iq hybrid room 10 there are a lot of things to customize by the way so if you want to change your device camera quality this gcam is one of the best gcams out there this is perfectly fine in android 11 also you can use it in android 10 android 9 also maybe you can try it out if you want to in my case in my redmi note 9 it's perfectly uh, redmi note 9 pro which is Cortana, it's perfectly fine here so i didn't got any issues at all and you can use this on your other devices also if you go here and we if you let me show you if we just double tap here in this blank space where we have a black kind of things we can export the xml or we can import the xml how we can do that i don't have any xml right now but let me show you i can enable that xml i can find that xml easily okay so first of all what we have to do is we have to create this folder so we can simply save this xml to something or whatever else so we're gonna save this now the xml is saved and now we can place the x any xml whatever we have if we do there let me show you one sorry for that and we have this default config option available if you have any xml you can simply import this from here and you can restore that and how we can do that let me show you i have a xml available so we can try it out if you want to right now in my case i have that xml here let me show you by going into android apps i have this xml option available if i go here and if i copy this to this gcam version which is called gcam we have the configs 7 folder and here we have that xml so we're gonna paste this xml right now here and now we're gonna restore this xml from here if we double tap here sorry for that once again now if we go here we will see this option i have this xml option available if i choose this and if i click on restore let me try it's not working because that was the xml from any other cam that why that's why it was not working i'll try to provide the link for this xml for which is compatible with this g cam so that you can install that and i already told you that how you can restore that xml in this g cam this is all from today's video this is all from this g cam i have provided the link in the description for this g cam so you can install that now this is all thanks for watching goodbye